this is Good Taste Brecky with Chloe and Ellerina on Juice 107.3. We are so very blessed to be able to speak to such incredible, mu- talented musicians here across Australia. And uh, we are very lucky to be joined by part of a very popular band. In fact, we play them all the time on our show. Uh, it is Birds of Tokyo and they're all the way from Perth in Western Australia. We've got Glenn Sarangapani <laughs> on the line. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How are you doing? Great. Now, we're just going to call you Sangers for short. We've just worked out. That's an easier one. (laughs) Sangers is the the go-to, I think, um, for the name. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Now, Birds of Tokyo, you guys have been around for a little while. Uh, In the time that you've been around, you've made such an impact in uh, Australian music, that's for sure. What has been one of your biggest highlights over the years? I mean, um, I reckon like the playing the AFL was one of the the really really big ones. Yeah. That was one of those moments where you kind of like hand shaking before you get out into the crowd and actually get out there and it's like, oh, this is amazing. And then after we played, everyone got really drunk, and then our manager told us we need to play again after the final, the, after the game ended. So, and that was being televised, like broadcast straight to TV. So that was also a very good moment. Oh, and the, they would have been going wild at that point as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everyone was going like, pretty, pretty nuts. It was getting pretty loose. It was like the Frio Hawthorne year that we played. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's quite different playing in, a, in an arena as opposed yeah. to like a concert hall or something like that, a venue, isn't it? Yeah, like heaps more people looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit more bounce back off the, you know, the people that are watching, I suppose. Yeah, it was one of those ones, like with the AFL, so everyone's got those horror stories about like seeing meatloaf and like all the disaster and things oh. that got, got pretty scary. But we, we got through it unscathed. We were happy. So happy to hear that. Now, you also, I believe, just had uh, a show in Wollongong. And was that your first gig in like 20,000 years because of co- Corona? It was the, yeah, it was the first gig since times became unprecedented. Mm. Yeah, it, it was amazing. Like the um the like the crowd had sit down because like social distancing and everything. Yeah. But just the vibe in the room and how much everyone was like just really enjoying the show. It was yeah. I can't even tell you how stoked we were to be playing it. We would have stayed there for three hours if they'd let us. Oh man! Well, it would have been awesome for you guys playing for the first time in ages, but for people actually seeing live music again and and a group that they so much love as well, it would have been such a great atmosphere. The atmosphere was really really good, and it was a really good opportunity to try out a couple of the tracks that we'd never played before. And people were really engaged in it in a different way. Everyone's kind of like going, cool, awesome. Like, this, is what, this is what we're doing right now. And until things get back to normal, this is what we can kind of how we can appreciate music. It was really great. The, like, the vibe from the crowd was amazing. That's so good. Uh, well, I remember you guys from like back in the Channel V days when I used to work on there a long, long time ago. You played the big day out and stuff like that. You guys are from Perth. How did you, how did the band form? How did you come to meet each other and? Birds of Tokyo became beautiful music. Well, Kenny, Kenny and Sparky were living in a house together and they were writing a couple of tracks. And I think um, drummer Westy was like, he was playing in pretty much every single band in Perth. So they picked him up and he ended up getting, I was playing in a different band with him. And the Perth music scene kind of ended up being like that where everyone kind of knows each other. And then we're like, oh, Bernie came along. It's just like everyone kind of knows each other from, from Perth music in general. It's this weird mixing pot of... Um, of everyone knows each other. Yeah, well, there's a lot of great bands that have come out of Perth, including yourself, that's for sure. There's Eskimo Joe. Yeah. Um, oh, who yeah. Else? yeah. Uh, gosh, Luke Steele's from out that way, isn't he? And Katie Steele. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh, Little Birdie back in the day, that was, that was an amazing band that used to come out. Mm. Yeah, definitely. You've also got uh, some exciting things happening this weekend, I believe, Glenn. Yeah, Tell you're us. on TV oh, twice. Good, good, yeah, good. You're on TV all this weekend, <laughs> mate. You're hogging the TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I, it's going to be good. Like I can actually like send it to my mum and go, see, I, I have a real job. I'm still doing things. It's, like, <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, mum. <laughs> so tell us about yeah. it because obviously... <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's real. It is real. <laughs> so obviously you've got uh, on Saturday, I believe, is the Rural Aid concert, the G'day Mate one. Tell us about that and what we can expect. Oh, it's called We're um, Playing the New Track uh, the Weekend. Uh, it was, it's, it's good fun. Like we're, um, It's good to be part of something, uh, of, of an event like that where we're giving something a little bit back and, yeah, we're really stoked to be part of it. And, um, yeah, and it's nice to be um, playing the single as well. Yeah, for sure. And then on Sunday, 
you've got the sound. How do you guys get involved with that one? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that, that's uh, going to be a pretty good fun one, actually. The, um, the, we ended up um, filming it on a boat, which we weren't expecting. Ooh. So, yeah, so it was one of those ones that was a little bit hard to explain to my wife. We've just had a kid, and it was a little bit hard to explain to my wife. Yeah, I'm definitely going to work. I'm going to do stuff. <laughs> and then she sees photos of us all on a boat, like, <laughs> you know, like playing music. But no, trust me, this is work. This is what I, this is what I do as a job. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good, though. And, um, like... It'd be just amazing to be able to go out to do all those different things but um, and, and have such an impact on people who love your music as well and then obviously come out with those photos that you've got on a boat or yes. on, on the roof of some <laughs> massive hotel in Dubai or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, trust me. This is still yeah. I'm, I, I'm doing I'm doing the hard yards. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. So are we. We get paid to do the hard yards in here. Just having a chat with wonderful people like you, uh, Glenn. <laughs> now uh, we're going to play one of your tracks in just a moment. But obviously, yeah, you've got the sound on Sunday and uh, tomorrow. Rural Aid. Who are you looking forward to seeing in Rural Aid? Actually. The um, Barnsley's playing. Yes, yes. I know. That's really good fun. So excited yeah. when I saw his name, I was like, "Yes, I've not seen you for ages, Barnsley." <laughs> the the last bunch of shows we did in like in Feb were with Chisel, so like it feels like a bit of a family reunion happening again. Oh, yeah, so good! And there's a great lineup <laughs> on the sound as well on Sunday. Gosh, you guys are just ticking many boxes, aren't you? I was really disappointed that the sound have um, Kate Sobrano and Something for Kate playing on the same bill and they didn't call it Something for Kate Sobrano. Right. So that, that would be my, my only note to, to, Actually, to everyone. If we, if we can send someone an email, that'd be great. Yeah, let's do it. I saw it on the um, poster for it as well and I was like, yeah, they need to change that around because <laughs> it's got Kate Sobrano first and then something for Kate after it. So I was I was right up there with you. Great on idea. That one. <laughs> we'll give you a commission if they Look, change that one around, yeah. Glenn. <laughs> a commission of just credit, of just yeah. good vibes. <laughs> yeah. Good vibes. Love it. Glenn from Birds of Tokyo, thank, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're looking forward to seeing you all over the television this weekend. Yeah, no worries. Have a good one, guys. See Thanks, you, Glenn. Glenn. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. You can catch Glenn and the rest of the Birds of Tokyo tomorrow night on Network 9 at 7.30 for the G'day Mate Rural A concert or you can also catch them on Sunday at 6 p.m. on ABC for the sound right now we're going to play their new single this is weekend birds of Tokyo on good taste brekkie